Hello mga engineers our topic for today's video is all about calculator technique for differential equation in finding the general solution. Ang kagandahan nito guys is applicable to sa variable DE or variable differential equation, exact differential equation, inexact DE, uh, homogeneous differential equation. So ipapakita ko dito guys yung process nito. So from the given, use negative m times n negative 1 and then calc x equals to 2 and y equals to 2. So dito, yung katabi ni m is dx at yung katabi ni n is dy. Okay? Dapat default na to ah. So to the choices, differentiate. Bale, ito yung lalagay natin sa calculator natin or input natin sa calculator natin. At kung napapansin nyo, yung placement nitong dalawang to, yung dalawang equation na to, or dalawang, dapat i-input natin sa calculator, is naka-base pa rin dun, kay negative m times n negative 1, di ba? At kung napapansin nyo rin, yung dalawang variables na to, x and y, at sa kabila is y and x. I-explain ko to sa mga examples natin. And should be the same value as well. So, start na tayo sa example natin para ma-explain ko thoroughly. So, our first problem, find the general solution of 2x plus 3y dx plus 3x minus 4y dy equals to 0. So, tingnan muna natin yung placement ng equation. Hanapin natin si dx at dy. Di ba sabi ko, yung katabi ni dx is yan yung si m, di ba? Tapos kay dy, yan yung n natin. So, dito, sa particular problem na to, si m is si 2x plus 3y. So, input natin sa calculator natin, dapat naka-negative muna. So, negative m. So, si m natin dito is si 2x plus 3y. And then, si n natin dito is 3x minus 4y. To the power of negative 1. Sundan natin to negative m times n, negative 1, di ba? So, press calc, let x equals to 2, and then si y equals to 2. So, yung value niya is 5. So, store natin. So, yung tamang sagot nito sa problem na to is si choices d. So, diretso na tayo kay d. So, to the choices, gagamitin natin to negative d over dx tapos x squared plus 3xy minus 2y squared x is equal to 2 and then d over dx so dito guys sabi ko kanina diba i-explain ko Kung bakit nag-interchange yung dalawang variable. So, kung sino yung x dito sa kabila, dapat gagawin natin y dito sa kabila. Tapos kung sino yung y, gagawin natin x. So, ganito. Di ba x squared yan? So, papalitan natin ng variable. So, gagawin natin y. y squared plus 3. Si x, gagawin natin y. And then, si y, gagawin natin x. Minus 2. Di ba y squared dyan? So, gagawin natin x squared dito. Ayan. So, x is equal to 2 pa rin. And then, dito, negative 1. Lalagay tayo na negative 1 as exponent nito. So, press equals. Dapat, the same value sa given. So, press equals. So, yung value niya is 5. So, compare natin dun sa given. 5. And then, 5 din dito sa choices. So, ibig sabihin... Ito yung tamang sagot. So, proceed tayo sa next problem. So, our next problem, find the general solution of 3x squared plus 2y dx plus 2x dy equals to 0. So, yung tamang sagot nito guys is si letter B. 
Input natin sa calculator natin. Yung given. Negative. 3 alpha x squared plus 2y dx. Tapos si n natin dito si 2x. The power of negative 1. So press equals. So yung value niya is negative 4. So try natin yung tamang sagot. Negative d dx. Negative d over dx. Alpha x cubed. Plus 2xy. x is equal to 2. And then. Si x cubed gagawin natin y cubed. Plus 2xy. So 2yx. And then x is equal to 2. Exponent niya is negative 1. So press equals. Compare natin kung same ba sila ng value. Ayan. So, ibig sabihin, si letter B yung tamang sagot. So, si x cubed plus 2xy equals to c. So, proceed tayo sa ating third problem. Or third problem, find the general solution of 2x plus y minus 4 dx plus x minus 2y plus 3 dy equals to 0. So, yung tamang sagot nito guys sa particular na problem na to is si letter D. x squared minus 4x minus y squared plus 3y plus xy equals to c. So, same process, guys. Negative m. So, si negative m dito is si 2x plus y. Uh, si 2x plus y minus 4 times n. Si n dito is si x minus 2y plus 3 to the power of negative 1. So, press equals. So, yung value niya is si negative 2. Proceed tayo kay choices. Um, negative d over dx alpha x squared minus 4x minus y squared plus 3y plus xy. x is equal to 2 and then times so interchange natin yung mga variables dito. So kung x squared ka dyan, dapat dito y squared. And then, minus 4x, so 4y. Minus y squared, so x squared. Plus 3y, so 3x. Plus xy, so yx. So x is equal to 2. And then, to the power of negative 1. So press equals. So yung value niya is negative 2. Same sila ng value doon sa given natin. So ibig sabihin, ito yung tamang sagot. So, proceed tayo sa ating last problem. So, our last problem. Solve x squared plus y squared plus x dx plus xy dy equals to 0. So, yung tamang sagot dito sa particular na problem na to is si letter D. So, 3x to the power 4 plus 4x cubed plus 6x squared y squared equals to C. So, the same process pa rin guys. Input natin sa calculator kung anong binigay sa given. So, negative m alpha x squared plus y squared plus x times n. Si n dito is xy to the power of negative 1. So, press equals. So, yung sagot ay yung value niya is negative 5 halves. So, store natin. So, sa letter d, negative ddx 3x to the fourth plus 4x cubed, plus 6x squared, y squared. x is equal to 2, and then times ddx, 3x to the 4th, so magiging y to the 4th na to, plus 4x cubed, so y cubed, 4y cubed, plus 6x squared, so 6y squared, Tapos, x squared, x is equal to 2, and then to the power of negative 1. So, press equals. Antayin lang natin saglit. So, yung sagot, so yung value niya is negative 5 halves. Compare natin dun sa given. So, the same value, ibig sabihin, tama yung choices D. So, yun lang mga ka-engineers. Sana makatulong to sa board exam nyo.
kasi nakatulong to sa akin. So, do your best and God bless. Thank you.